in this hour on my grind and you know on my grind is about you as an mvp who's tuned in because we want you to improve yourself as an mvp out there kauna grind kama uko employed whatever the grind that you're doing make sure that you are improving yourself mm-hmm. and that you're proud of it you know a lot of people you're doing something pali uko si sai unafanya kitu yenye inakulisha why aren't you proud of that hustle if it's legal if it's you you're putting in your effort it's work and you should be proud of that and that's why we have this segment called on my grind so every day you get to hear from everyday people doing their grind and being proud of it and you can learn a thing or two about how they manage to get there and in studio to Today. In today today we have Steven Juguna who is the owner the MD the everything about Malkia Malkia Organics Malkia Organics All right let's make welcome <laughs> Steven <laughs> Welcome Karibu sana kwa show Thank you very much Sheila So let me ask you Steven Are you out of campus ama bado uko campus? Uh, I'm still in campus. I'm in my senior year right now. I'm in college actually. What are you studying? I'm at the Kenya Medical Training College. Mm-hmm. I'm pursuing a diploma in orthopedics and trauma medicine. Eh? Oh god. Wait, went <laughs> to another wrong guest combo. At what? At what? Yeah. At all the what? Orthopedics and trauma medicine. Ini mambo ya meno. No, ya macho. Mifupa. Yes, na anything that involves trauma, that is in case there's an accident, uh-huh. I can work as an A&E and mostly we're based on the A&E section in mm-hmm. hospital. Okay, yeah. okay. So Steve is going to come back and tell us how we move from boning <laughs> to lip gloss. <laughs> Good vibes only on Vibes Radio. And in studio right now on On My Grind we have Steven Juguna founder of Malkia Organics. Karibu studio bro. Cheni sana. All right, so when we took the before we took the break you told us that you're currently in school studying. What are you studying? Um st- um I, I'm doing a diploma in orthopedics and trauma medicine, which is basically bone manenos. Yes. Okay. Okay. We're, we're going to leave the boning aside. <laughs> yes. We want to talk about the lip bumps going yeah, on. Yeah. So st- so Steven How did your love for business start? Uh, uh long ago mm-hmm. um I I I remember even after before even finishing high school mm-hmm. I used to sell, sell small small stuff in school mm-hmm. and then after high school small sc- stuff kama uh mandazi sweets okay. from funkies and mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. and then uh, I remember uh, after high school mm-hmm. uh, I took a uh, one year break mm-hmm. so during that one year break I was still hustling I used to work in a boutique so I used to sell clothes and mm-hmm. everything I was mm-hmm. 17 18 then okay. you are, you are yeah. hired or something that you No I was off. hired I was oh. hired mm-hmm. back then yeah mm-hmm. then So I you finished j- high school and you were like dude I need a job Yes 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 because okay. I really love money mm-hmm. okay which is okay <laughs> right We all love money <laughs> Yes yes <laughs> uh, and then I joined college in 2017 mm-hmm. Yes so after joining college uh, between September 2017 and April mm-hmm. I had my savings from my past account so you know I was just spending and I was good then April gets here and i don't have any money uh-huh. so i remember i was left with 300 bob in my pocket my mom used to give me allowance but uh-huh. you know i was but, just spending yeah. it on my friends uh-huh. and and having fun uh-huh. so i remember this day i was so broke it was in 2018 and i only had 300 shillings yeah. so uh, i had talked to a friend and she was selling make uh, lip balms uh-huh. uh, lipsticks in her school yeah. so i went to du bois uh-huh. it's around tiro and uh-huh. i bought six lipsticks Where? One Wait, was that going, books. Yes, one was going for 50 shillings yeah. on wholesale. Yeah. So, I went to school and then I just sold to girls uh-huh. and they bought yeah. and out of the three so I had six so. Wow. Yes, so I went back bought and sold. Uh-huh. Uh, and then uh, around uh, September school got hectic mm-hmm. so I stopped selling and also I, like spent most of the money. Mm-hmm. Um, then I just started hustling and volunteering in organizations uh-huh. and everything. Yeah. Then in 2019, that is last year around mm-hmm. November, I just started selling earrings. I still had the thought of selling cosmetics yeah. and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the reason I was not practicing it is because I found out that the cosmetics in the market they were so cheap mm-hmm. um and they were not of quality so most of them were 
counterfeit goods. So you find someone applying Kylie, but of course it's, it's not. Yeah, it's not the ideal Kylie because the ideal Kylie goes for 1500 shillings. Mm -hmm. So as I was selling earrings, I happened to attend an entrepreneurship dinner mm -hmm. in November last year. And then there was this lady speaking. And then after she was done speaking, I just went to her and I was like, hi. And then I just pitched her there. I was like, I love makeup mm -hmm. and I want to start producing makeup of my own. Wow. And then that was it. So in January, she contacted me. Mm -hmm. We had a meeting and then I pitched her the idea. And that is how Malkia came to be. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I'm listening and I'm like, okay, from... I'm going to school mm -hmm. and I'm going to learn how to make, you know, bones work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then I'm also going to do cosmetics. Mm. Yeah. And this, but you, you're hearing the need is coming out of brokenness. Not really. Yeah. Okay, part of it is coming from brokenness, but my mom owns a salon mm -hmm. and I've seen her do beauty and, and get hair done yeah. and apply makeup yeah. and make people feel beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I was growing up, I had like a vision board mm -hmm. and besides it, there was this cabbage from uh, Vogue and had cosmetics and everything. Yeah. I always wanted to have a cosmetic line on my own. Wow. Yes. You know, you, you got to be honest, Steve. Uh, yeah. Not a lot of guys. Brio is here mm -hmm. shaking. He's nodding <laughs> as in Kiribu not Pakatito. Opportunity and on our cosmetics, as in mm -hmm. even before he had turned 20. Yes, you know what I mean. So he already had his life plans uh set up. Mm. At this age, I'm doing this, at yeah. this age, I'm doing this, yeah. But also, he was taking advantage of the situation. Because mm. wow. Oh, baby, to be, baby, 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 uh, baby. <laughs> and this is the reason why you're not the one selling me. <laughs> no, he goes. To, do you go to ladies and tell them that ah, yes, lips, yes. Me crack, uh, yeah, and yeah, uh, the saddest thing about it is. I'll say this, and it's not coming from a bad place, yeah. mm -hmm. but I had I had bad makeup. I, I'll see a chile with bad lipstick, and I just go to her and I'm like, oh, sis, you look good, but please wipe it off. I think you should use this color wow. or something of that wow. sort. So it comes from, uh, you know, I love validating people <laughs> and being honest with them, uh, but this it comes from a good place. Nick, it's coming from a good place. Yes. Sister lips are cause crack. clear lip bar. Ah, we've got Steven in studio, and he's sharing with us his story. How did he get into business? Now that he has the cosmetic line started, what next? Keep it right here on Morning Vibes. Good vibes only on Vibes Radio. In studio, we got Steven Jugana, man. He is a, a businessman and uh, he's been doing this forever. He's in Compass and a study Obo. <laughs> <laughs> study Boning. Although. Although. I'm sure there's someone in your school. I mean, in the class, yeah, although. Of course. Of course. Yeah. What's your name? I'm going to say Odijo. Odijo is different. Then there's worse than that, Ondiso. And this is diff is is it okay? Still bad shame. Although, 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 short form of orthopedic. Although, see who's scared you already. In fact, I've never even heard of it. But <laughs> kudos on you. So Thank you met you. this lady. Yeah. And uh, you were like, you pitched to her that you want to start your own cosmetic line. Yes. When you had this idea of makeup, yeah. where did you want to start off with? Um, when I, I wanted to, I, I wanted to make makeup. Mm -hmm. I, I did actually a questionnaire. Mm -hmm. I asked people what they wanted. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, they had the same things in mind. Mm -hmm. I wanted to produce makeup that is of quality. Mm -hmm. I wanted to produce makeup that is accessible. Yeah. And I wanted to, to produce makeup that is affordable. Mm. Three things. Yeah, because a lot of the makeup, yeah. to be honest, like quality is expensive. Mm -hmm. Very expensive. Yeah. So, so you're coming to fill in that need. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. And and uh, so so this particular line that you started with, I'm seeing you start with uh, lip balm and lip gloss. Yes. How did this come about? Um, I wanted to do lipstick mm -hmm. actually, mm -hmm. and then uh, I was just going through the internet and looking at all the odds, and I was like, to do lipstick, it had to be very expensive because there are some bottles that I had to import. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my goal was to first of all produce something that is just affordable. Mm -hmm. So I just decided to start with lip balms and lip gloss because most of the products, are, most of the ingredients mm -hmm. are local available could yeah. just source them locally and then the packaging or just improvise on whatever was available mm. yeah in terms of now coming up with the product yeah litest nanani myself eh? i would 
penye lips zake zimestood. but you test it now with yourself yes yes um this is malkia right now this is the start of something big this is the start of a movement mm. of sisterhood mm-hmm. this is lip gloss and makeup for that single mom mm-hmm. who is hustling so hard mm-hmm. she doesn't have 2k to afford a legal mm-hmm. and maybe you know whichever yeah. nini but she has 150 shillings all mm-hmm. to so to afford such a good product our products are organic mm-hmm. and natural yeah. homemade mm-hmm. i make them myself every one of them has mm-hmm. to pass through my hands yeah. and i'm very intentional about it so so i mean you know just to get into it yeah. um, how did you decide on the products that you wanted because i'm thinking yeah. you started from selling already made products yes already made yeah. and now here you are yeah. making your own products so how did you even you know get the ingredients how did you even come up with this um i remember i was actually think i was I, i was to go for the i was to go and pitch the idea in a week's mm-hmm. time and i was really thinking hard about it yeah. and then there is the internet the so internet? I, yes so i just went to youtube and i googled how do you make lip gloss uh-huh. and then there were so many options yeah. I, i remember I, I, there was I, I, i think i remember there were times i used to say up till 2am yeah. because mm-hmm. i had to find ways of improvising things like paste lines mm-hmm. and oils mm-hmm. and everything mm-hmm. and doing market research and whether yeah. that possible mm-hmm. but manufacturing the product itself was i think it was a big a, ambitious goal on yeah. my end. I was scared uh-huh. about it. The moment I thought about it I was like no Steve, we are not going there. We uh-huh. can just buy and sell and yeah. retail. Yeah. But the whole idea of manufacturing in it manufacturing and packaging it was a whole new thing mm-hmm. but it was actually fun and 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 really awesome to do so you yeah. i mean when you started out you just had a bit of capital yeah. to buy and sell buy and sell yeah. and uh, and then at some point you were just eating what yeah. what you were selling yeah. you know um then you met someone who now you got into business together yeah so as an investor yeah okay so now you had capital to be able to now do the thing that you want to do yes i did D- does the investor help you with the you know coming up with the packaging Cause I'm seeing the packaging there's one that is in like lip balm yes. and there's one that's small containers for lip gloss. Yes. Uh she does. She's actually very very supportive. Mm-hmm. Since I'm in Nairobi and home is quite far from here. Mm-hmm. I go to her place and I make the products there. So yeah. she has given me space to do it. Mm-hmm. She made this awesome logo yeah. um with packaging and everything came to shopping mm-hmm. and everything she was hands on mm-hmm. on it. And yeah. she, there, you know that things you're calling me like in the middle of the night yeah. and I used to call her, I'm like oh my god I have this idea what mm-hmm. if we package this what if we do it this way mm-hmm. she has actually been really really supportive and it's hard to actually find people like those out there people who see your dreams mm-hmm. and they actually identify with them and decide to support them all right so yeah. we're speaking to Steven Juguna he's the founder of Malkia Cosmetics and he's in studio with us talking to us about the product this is the first batch he's so excited I and really I am. actually met him on Sunday at uh, at the Sister Speaks market yeah. and he was selling his his product there and I told him he has to come to the show to you know talk about about his journey as an entrepreneur to all the MVPs who are listening in right now we're going to take a short commercial break when we come back now he's got the product what about selling it kwa sababu unajua hii sasa ni yake si ile yenye alikuwa already unajua you know this brand sasa ni brand yake yake how did he go about it keep it right here good vibes only on vibes radio as 104.5 vibes radio is Jane Magizmo with one away hey And in a bit we're going to be running away out of the studio because we have uh, come to the end of the show that's in 20 minutes there's something else that's almost at the end and that's really more yes ingia hapo hashtag vibes mvp and vote do you think it's tanto metro who won to in this redeem call liquid redeem or is it Sean Paul with can you do the work so ingia hapo hashtag vibes mvp and vote 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 back here Five minutes polish so ingia upatie utupatie opinion yako 
Hiyo opinion yenye nimepata leo watu wananipigia wanambia eh kwa mbele ametoa ngusha ingoma iko fire i don't care me not care what you say Tanto Metro came through and did the damn thing y'all 19 minutes to uh, 10 a.m. and in studio we've got Steve Njuguna he is the founder of Malkia Cosmetics and guys Malkia Cosmetics is finally up and running yes, mm-hmm. it and is. You, you're hearing Steve's story man unajua brayo mm-hmm. ume fikiria ku, kutengeneza cosmetics but at least una fikiria kama si tufungue garage mm-hmm. Tufungue shuduka ya wears eh ama tu zange mzinga mzinga <laughs> eh ma wines and spirits <laughs> ama jaba do you know yeah. do you know the 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 cosmetic industry in Kenya mm-hmm. is a billion billion shilling industry yeah. in Kenya in Kenya yes. what i thought in the world but in, in Kenya, Kenya that's in huge Kenya. and in the world cosmetics uh-huh. is a billion dollar industry i mean look, look at uh, uh, Kylie mm-hmm. Kylie turned 18 and she's a billionaire a certified billionaire from cosmetics wow 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 yeah wow. yeah so ata mini anze yangu ah wende leo tukufunga wenz and spirits what are you doing tukufunga wenz and spirits munaona kerote now have been hit with a 9 billion tax uh-huh. imagine lakini cosmetics aziyeziisha demo yako anaweza wewe unanuanga unanulenga demo yako makeup aizi yes ni sura yake siaji sort oh unamnunenga hata lotion hivi perfume vaseline Then I just see my chali when to mianga Vaseline from head to toe. Mm. Kila mali to the same mafuta. Hakuna yeah. ti oh this is for my face. This yeah. is for my arms uh-huh. and legs. Yeah. Pana the same thing. Hata lips. Uh-huh. Video letu mbili yeah. unadunga, unachanya hivi uh-huh. then una, una smack smack lips uh-huh. then uko sawa unatoka kwa mta. Can I just uh, I want to make oh, a prediction. Oh elbows up Okay. Yeah. I want to make a prediction. Mm-hmm. Yes. Brian, mm-hmm. ukianza kutumia face products. Ndio scrub tu ka uso yako kidogo hivi mm. utumie moisturizer mm-hmm. eh mm-hmm. utaanza kuona unakuwa light so i'm making this prediction because <laughs> eh? even charlemagne charlemagne yeah. uh, the god yes umse si alianza kutumia scrubs na malotions ma nini nini hizo mm-hmm. ma kuchomwa na jua zikaanza kutoka mm-hmm. sasa una, mtu anaanza kusema ai Right, you can't me una bleach. Siku bleach, uh-huh. you've started to take care of your skin. Mtaacha yeah. kukaa kan niko na maskels vikafish. Mtaacha kukaa nika umechomeka na jua. Mtaacha <laughs> <laughs> tajaribu this week. One week challenge. <laughs> But thinking about this, this is a billion shilling industry. It makes sense to get into this industry, mm-hmm. right? And so, of course you have the product now. Yeah. Selling it to the first person. Uh, selling it to the first person was they were my friends mm-hmm. though. Um it was really hard. Yeah. But uh, right now because uh, now i'm coming across different people mm-hmm. they're asking different questions yeah. like what do you use in your product yeah. why is your lip gloss like this why uh-huh. is it packaged differently yeah. Yeah. why do you call it malkia they have so many questions mm-hmm. uh but the whole idea revolving around it being a natural product mm-hmm. an all organic product yeah. and it being homemade mm-hmm. and 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 kenyan yeah. is making it's pushing it forward But um, they are also fascinated by the guy is making this. That's what yeah, so I'm it's just actually like, a good mm-hmm. strategy in my marketing strategy. So that's I was the first like thing. impressed, yeah. The first thing, you remember even the guy who was selling us the urine, urine girls urination funnel. Yes. The guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 When the people who are listening in right now, what products do you what 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 is what makes the lip balm? Um I use uh, it's okay, it's a secret recipe but You don't need to tell uh, us the complete yeah, recipe. Yeah. But what's in it? Um there's coconut oil, mm-hmm. there's olive oil. Mm-hmm. There's avocado oil, mm-hmm. there's almond oil. Mm-hmm. I also add a few essential oils because mm-hmm. they act as microbials and they also help with nourishing of the skin, mm-hmm. especially around the lips. Mm-hmm. I use rosemary, mm-hmm. I use peppermint, mm-hmm. I use lemongrass, wow. I use lavender, I use several so of them. Yeah. There's a bunch of essential oils, there's some herbs in there as well. Yeah. And there's lots of oils. And it really it smells good. It, it does. Is yeah. your product unisex cuz kuna machali uko nje wadhani ai by the way and not get too much dim actually Lazy. fun fun fact Brian mm-hmm. uh, uh most of my chopsticks mm-hmm. guys are buying them okay. i'm like starting this campaign mm-hmm. vijana lips ya chako kauka it's only 150 shillings mm-hmm. and you can just apply it on your lips all day long i have it on yeah. you can't even you can't you can't see so yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's not shiny yeah. so don't go for the gloss mm-hmm. just order yourself a malkia lip balm i'll deliver it to you and it's really awesome mm-hmm. yes 
Bro, ni kunule malki ali bag. Eh, nule ni mechoka kulamba lamba lips zangu mas. Yeah, and it's eatable. Our yeah. products are actually eatable. So whenever you don't even have to like wipe it off your lips before you uh, just apu, lick apu, them apu, and apu apu apply mechom. another one. It's <laughs> a product <laughs> actually eatable. Mechome ya kwambox, kwambox and eating <laughs> lips. <laughs> no, so it's safe. It's delicious. Yeah, it's and it's very safe yeah. for human consumption. So I gotta tell you, I've used the product the whole from Saturday. Yeah. Uh, up until uh, yesterday. Yeah. And I quite like it. it Thank you very my, much, Shayla. Very hydrated. Thank you very much, um, Shayla. I don't have to, you know, put anything else. Once I just put that, and I have my natural state of lips, so I, I like it. Thank you very much, Shayla. Anyone who's thinking of getting into cosmetics, um, what would you tell them? Uh, I would tell them to be intentional, to put people first. Mm-hmm. In as much as money and everything goes is important, mm-hmm. it's very, very important to put the health of other people first mm. their well-being yeah. i would like them to focus beyond them creating a product or like them to focus beyond that mm. creating like a brand yeah i'd like them to to create a movement and empower people through their products and that is what malkia is doing right now i call it malkia because every woman mm. deserves to feel like a queen they it. deserve to feel confident mm-hmm. and authentic and comfortable yes. and proud yes. in their own skin yeah. and that is what Malkia is all about authenticity I love it yes. I love it thank you so much Steve for coming through and sharing I can't I can't wait I think we'll we'll have an interview with you one year from now just to find out how Malkia thank, thank, you, very thank right, you very uh, much all right for those of you who are trying to get in touch with Steven and you're like ah oh, I love the story how do they get in touch with you uh, you can find us on Instagram at Malkia underscore organics on facebook at malkia organics uh, can i give them the phone number yes you can uh, you can also contact us on 0796 620 i love it that was steven jiguna founder of malkia cosmetics by the way he's still in campus studying <laughs> Bonnie. Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> but he is also our guest on On My Grind. I hope you've learned something.